friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and click on the little bell because guess what? We're so excited, we're going to Hawaii. The day has finally come. Quite literally, we are in the countdown of hours before going to Maui and we are so excited. We just got our negative COVID test results this morning so I can finally film our pack with me video. Now, this planner, I've been packed for about two weeks now. Because <laughs> I'm a planner and I'm a preparer and I've had to know for a long time what we needed to get in order to pack to go to Hawaii. But I have waited to show you this video until I knew we had negative COVID test results because I knew I couldn't fake the excitement of going to Hawaii and I also didn't want to film it if we weren't going to end up getting to go. So just as a heads up, in case you are new to Hawaii and travel during a pandemic, and hopefully in the future if you're watching this, none of this will apply, but if it does, there are a lot of travel requirements to get to Hawaii right now. It's 2021, February. There's a lot of requirements. So. We have done all of those. We have gotten our negative COVID test. We've updated our information to the travel website. We have got our printouts. We have got everything we need to go to Hawaii. So let's do our bags. Let's see how I pack because I'm kind of OCD about packing. In fact, I repacked Jason's bag. <laughs> That's my husband if you're new. I have heard from a lot of our viewers, whether they're subscribers or not, you need to subscribe. But I've heard from a lot of you that you like these videos. I thought I would do this video today, so stick around. We're gonna pack our bags for Hawaii. I'm so excited we actually officially get to say that. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, let's pack our bags. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through each of our bags. I have my own suitcase. Then we have a swim bag, has all of our swim gear in it. And we'll walk through that one. Then each set of our girls, the two younger girls and the two older girls, they each have a carry-on bag, so they share those between the two of them, each of them. And then Jason has a bag with all of his stuff and some of our electronics and that kind of stuff. So let's dive into my bag first. All right, we're gonna start with my bag. I love using these little travel bags when I pack and I have the first set that we ever got. This is my unmentionables. This is my underwear. I have that all packed away in that little cube. It just works really, really well. And then I have all of my shirts. Let me show you how much I have in here because these things pack a punch. All right, so I have six shirts, three pairs of shorts, a tank top, pajama shirt, and a hat. <laughs> and a skirt, I forgot that, this is a skirt. So there is a lot in this one little tote bag that you can fit in here. I actually probably could fit more, but I don't have more clothes that I'm gonna take. All right, so I have cute little Valentines that I'm gonna surprise the kids with in these bags. I'll show you the other parts to that in a minute. And then Chelsea's teacher sent her a secret Valentine that's in this package. Okay, so on this side, we're basically full. I'm just going to put my makeup bag in here and I'll show you the makeup bag in just a minute. So that spot is all ready to go. All right, so then on this side, this is all of my swimsuits and I got the same kind of pot. It's just the bigger one. I have swimsuits and swim wraps and sports bras and swim covers, you name it. I've got it in this bag. And then I have three pairs of sandals. I've got my cute chacos that I just got. Then I also have some keen flip flops and some nicer sandals for going out at night. And that's all the shoes I'm going to take. And then I have my other bathroom bag and it just has more of my bathroom supplies in it. So I'll show you my makeup bag. It doesn't look very organized right now because I am using it. One of the tips that I have when you're traveling is to pack your makeup stuff and your bathroom supplies ahead of time and then work out of that bag. Maybe not use your travel toothpaste, but work out of the bag to make sure you're bringing everything that you normally use on a daily basis. And then think of the things that you might use that are different when you're on vacation and add that. So that's what I've been doing and I've added a few things as I realized that I need them. Okay, here's my makeup bag. You can see that it comes with these little compartment bags and I have all of the stuff I need in here to travel with. All the stuff is in here, but it's not packed tight yet because I'm still kind of using it. So all of this stuff will get packed. Like these guys go back here behind the brushes, but I'm using it to make sure I bring everything that I know I'm going to need and then it just will pack up and zip up and go into my suitcase. All right, I have a helper here in pajamas on a 10 minute virtual break, right? So here is dad's bag. I kind of redid it for him because I like to use these little cubes and I bought them for a reason. That has his dad's skivvies, so we won't show that. And then all of his clothes are in here. He has workout clothes, swim trunks, 
rash guards, shorts and shirts, all of it in here. And then that just packs down in there super nice. He's got a hat and a jacket that he'll probably wear at the airport. And then down here, that is my drone. That is the, the cage that goes on the drone. And then on the bottom underneath everything, I have one of my Costco bags. I take the little recycle carry bags to put all your groceries in because we have to go to Costco straight from the airport. They're like right across the street from each other. We don't have time to go to our hotel and then come back to the Costco because it's like a 45 minute drive. So we need to like contain our food in bags and so I'm bringing my own. But Jason's promised me that I can buy cute Hawaiian ones because he didn't let me buy them in Kauai two years ago and I'm still mad about it. So I told him he could get a snack at Costco if I get my little recycle bags. They're $6. I don't know why he didn't let me buy them last time, but I'm getting them this time. So in the side, Dad has all the rest of his shorts that didn't fit into that little QB bag. I need to get some more because he has more clothes that he likes to pack up now. And then this side it actually has another cube that has his socks in it. He has hikes planned and he runs in the morning. So he'll be wearing socks more than the rest of us. All right, so in this side, we're actually taking coats because we're gonna go to the Haleakala volcano and it's freezing cold. It actually snowed there the other day. So I'm taking my full coat and his is packed in here as well. So he has, he snuck in a pair of shorts. I can't stand when he does this. He sneaks them in and shoves them and I don't like it when things are shoved in like that. But then we have a first aid kit right here. I remember in church you did that. Like I you did. Put, that on. put a little band-aid on the first aid kit. Then he has a hiking backpack. And then right here I have my DJI stabilizer. We're gonna use this for our live videos. Uh, and then dad has a pair of shoes to go running and hiking in and his water regular sandals to go on the beach. And then we have a GoPro stick right down there. All right, so. Our swim bag is the fullest and the heaviest. So let's just literally dive in, haha, <laughs> no pun intended, right? So we have two of our newest fins here on top. We have new kid fins and a mermaid fin that Jason's brother gave the girls. Okay, so without trying to unpack most of it, I have Ashley's swim hat and my bag. This becomes my beach bag. I might buy a new one, but until then, this is a really good shoulder bag, sash bag that I carry all my beach supplies in to go back and forth. So we are going to take the life jacket for Ashley and Chelsea this time because we don't want them to be snorkeling and get caught in a rip and, you know, get swept away to sea. The older girls don't tend to swim out too far and they're good swimmers. We're just gonna be cautious of where we have them swim. Then, if you haven't watched our little haul video, I'll link it above, but I got these cinch bags to keep our towels in. So I have these bags that have our towels in them and they're from Dock and Bay. They are wonderful. They wick away water, but they also dry you off really fast and they dry themselves really fast. So what I did was I bought little cinch bags to match each color of towel for everyone in the family. And then as we go from pool to beach, to car, to road to Hana, all the different things, everyone is gonna have their own towel, their own bag, and they can put their own sunglasses and their own shorts to change into and underwear and whatnot. They can have everything in their own bags and they'll be responsible for them, but then it'll be easy to know what bag is theirs because it's color coordinated with their towel. All right, over here we have one of four of our face masks. These are snorkel masks, and they are on top of our snorkel fins. These are the adult, we have two adult snorkel fins and one child snorkel fin there. So now we have two and two, so we can have four of us going out at a time. Um, this is the other face mask that we have. These are awesome. If you have not gotten these to go snorkeling with before, I would highly recommend them. That's the Triboard Subia brand. This is the original maker of the face mask, and I like to go with original makers because they came up with the concept and I like to support them. You can find them on Amazon. They range from like 50 to $100. Usually the newest model is the most expensive, but it's not usually any different, you know, because the technology hasn't really changed. So just go with an older version to save yourself money. Then I have some tubes to go tubing with. We also are weird and like to pack food <laughs> in our bags. We have some syrups to take with us. 
We're gonna make Italian sodas while we're in our hotel room or sitting out on the lanai or sitting on the beach. We've heard that you can't take drinks down to the pool because they have a restaurant there and they want you to buy from the restaurant. So we're just gonna see how it goes. So you can see we have two other flavors. We have pineapple and pina colada because you know, we're gonna have pina coladas. Then right here we have two goggles. These are just the newest ones we've gotten. I've got another bag on the other side I'll show you. They'll get put into there eventually, but there's no room in it just to pack the suitcases. And then I'm weird, like I said, we pack some food because I don't like buying entire containers of ketchup and mayonnaise and mustard when we go to places like this because we're only using a little bit and it just seems like such a waste. So I save up my packets from, you know, fast food or whatnot and I just bring it with me. And then sometimes I just leave these in the hotel or the unit for the next person to use and then I don't have to bring it home. Also, I'm bringing some breakfast drinks and some oatmeal packets with us. That's just one less meal that I have to buy and prepare while we're there. All right, on this side, it looks like my daughter has snuck in a pair of sandals. <laughs> she might not have had room in her bag, but that's okay because it will fit in here just fine. All right, so it doesn't look so pretty on this side, but we have more stuff in here. I've got another towel bag on this side, as well as more of our face masks. And then these are all the goggles and pool toys and water shoes that are in this bag. And I like taking these bags because they get out the sand and the water and then they can air dry so that they don't mold. We have a problem with mold here in the Northwest, even during the summertime. So we got these with our snorkel gear and we just keep using it for this kind of stuff because then they can just dry and then we put it back in here and go back and forth to the pool and the beach. All right, once we get there, I will put like a day's use of sunscreen into this little travel bag. But until we get there, I just have it in this bag. This one will probably be my in my beach bag itself with things that I don't wanna get wet like my phone and that kind of stuff. But for now it has all of my excess sunscreens in there as well as all of that because we need a lot of sunscreen. As of January 1st, they actually passed a bill in Hawaii to make it illegal to sell sunscreen in Hawaii that is not safe for the coral reef. There's a chemical in it. I don't know what it is. It's a long word. I don't know what it is. But everything that you can buy on the island is coral safe but I have some that aren't coral safe that I use for the pool just because I already have it and I got it on clearance. And so I will take those. And usually by the time we're transitioning to a beach, we've already been at the pool for two, three hours. So that sunscreen has worn off of our body. We rinse off in the showers in between the beach and the pool. And then we'll put new sunscreen on that's coral safe to go into the ocean. So I haven't had a problem with that before. I'm just taking a whole bunch with us and hoping that we don't have to buy more there. But if we do, we'll just go over to Costco because it's always cheaper at Costco versus like a grocery store. All right, so Jason's, if he sees this again, he's probably gonna take it out. <laughs> but I am taking these plastic cups and plastic lids because Italian sodas. I mean, <laughs> and smoothies. We have stayed in enough units. We always get a kitchen in our unit and every one of them doesn't have enough plastic cups. They have a lot of wine glasses. They have a lot of glass cups and they're big and they're heavy and they're bulky. One, we don't have enough plastic cups just to be in the unit itself and make smoothies for everyone. We usually have to like go in shifts or use a McDonald's cup from the last time we ate out. I don't, we never have enough cups. And I've always wanted to like have a smoothie to walk down to the beach for sunrise or sunset or whatever the case is. But I don't want to take a glass or a dish from the room down outside. So I'm going to bring my own and we're going to try and wash them out. We only have enough cups to make like four smoothies or Italian sodas each. So we are going to wash these and make as much use out of them as we can. Maybe if they're still in good use, we'll bring them back home, but otherwise we'll just recycle them. All right, so this is our heaviest bag and we got this cool tool to make sure we're not gonna go over our weight limit. What are we at, Jace? It's over. It's over now. It's, yeah, I told you we were right on the edge. No, someone else put something in it then. Cause it wasn't over, yeah. but this is why we got it. So we can now readjust the suitcase and not go over at the airport. Okay, we took out our syrups and put it in my bag. I've got room right there on the side, but this is why we prepare, folks. So now let's retest it. I bet the towel and the shoes maybe put it overweight. Okay. Oh, wow, 43, 44. So that's 43, 44, those, those were heavy. Those, water, those uh, syrups are... Uh, 
There, that's like that a seven down. pounds. There's no way. There's no way those syrups are seven pounds. They're probably about two. We pounds. just took out seven pounds. Uh, I think they're about. I've been filming. They're kind of heavy. All right. So that's my suitcase. It's not full yet. You don't just, think it's forty? No, I don't think it's forty, and it's not full. I still have my makeup. Oh, that's gonna be an extra ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Such a smart. What is it? Wait, wait, no. This got to reset. Oh, because your wife can't be right. It's 34. Ah, I told you it wouldn't be over 40. So, all right. All right. There's no way my makeup bag is going to be 14 pounds. All right, next up is the two younger girls' bags. I don't know if I'm going to show the older two, two girls because it's not quite packed yet, and they kind of get weird about their personal space being filmed, which I totally understand. So, on Chelsea's side, we have two pairs of flip-flops. It, it's kind of a thing. She kind of usually, like, breaks a pair. We have an extra and then these are good little water shoes in case we go in trails or waterfall areas so that she doesn't get her feet hurt but then they stay on her feet. So we have those Then you can see her towel right there. She's the color blue and then her little pouch bag is on this side. She's got all of her outfits all rolled up together and then she has a wrap that she likes to have to wrap around herself. So Ashley's side is identical. She has all of her clothes and swimsuits in this bag, all rolled up into outfits, ready to go into the drawer. Then she knows what she can wear. Then she has her flip-flops and she's gonna wear her water shoes on the airplane and then her little swim bag. They will also have their bathroom bag. They just have it in their bathroom and then Chelsea wants to take her electric toothbrush. So she's got it in there. All right, so I have a little secret for the girls. I showed you those little pineapple bags. I have little Valentine's to surprise the girls with on Valentine's Day. I'm gonna put them in those little pineapple bags. So we've already sized it, they fit. And I have all of these little Valentine's. There's two per kid. There's one with some treats and candies in it, as well as some Muddy Buddies that are on this side. So I just wanted to surprise them with that little Valentine. Cause in general, oh, little sneak. I need you out of the room. I need you out. I just go out, go out. Go out, go out, go out. See, now she knows there's a surprise. <laughs> so I just feel bad that, you know, really no kids are gonna get Valentine's Day this year, so I'm just trying to do a little extra. Her assignment for school this week is actually to send an individual Valentine message to every single kid in her class. And so she's actually coming up with jokes, Valentine kid jokes. <laughs> to send to each of the kids, just as an extra little, you know, boost for Valentine's. And then her teacher has sent a Valentine, and that's in one of these bags as well. What do you have here? Well, they already know about it, but Jason's now finding out about it. What is this? <laughs> and making fun of it. Well, is this Valentine's? What is this? It's Valentine's. Be quiet. Stop talking about it so much, because they can hear you. But I gotta hide it in their bag. They won't open this back up. We're so gonna get our luggage searched. No, we're not. We're not. And if they are gonna search us, they'll be like, "Oh, Valentine's? Not liquids? Totally fine. He's mocking. Behind the camera, he's mocking me. You guys can't see it. Mock, no, mock, mock, see mock. It. He's mocking. He's mock. That's you're a just, mock. You're just a lot of... I'm extra. 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 That's exactly what I was thinking. Do our kids love me because I'm a little extra? Thomas. You're extra too. You take them for midnight milkshakes and all that kind of stuff. So you have your own ways of being extra. Okay. Fair enough? All right, I'm gonna take this bag down. No, we have to zip tie them. Okay. okay. So we're going to zip tie our luggage tags to the bags because we used these when we went to California over the summer and they just didn't stay on the bag. They're just too cute. They're extra. Again, I understand. <laughs> I understand that I'm extra, but they're cute. I can't show you the other side because it's the address. But these little things just didn't stay on the suitcase. So we're actually gonna zip tie through that little hole right there. All right, so here's what the little luggage tags look like. We just zip tied it on right here because these ones just kept coming undone. Even now, like it just came undone. <laughs> and just me touching it. So we've got these zip tied on, has our address on the back, and then it's like super distinguishable as well. This is the girls. So it's easy to see when it's coming off the luggage rack at the airport, because everyone has black suitcases, especially from Costco. So this makes it more visible. 
All right, you guys, that's it. We're almost packed up. We just still have to live <laughs> out of our suitcases for technically getting ready for two more days, and then we are off to Maui. So I've got my makeup bag sitting on the counter. I'm just gonna take that down as soon as we are ready to go in the morning on our day of travel, and that's it. All the other bags are packed. The older girls have theirs in their bedroom. They'll bring it down when they're done with it. I just like to be organized when I pack. That makes it easier when we get there. If you have any questions about how we packed or where we got things or anything like that about travel or any of that kind of stuff, leave a comment below. We are excited for you guys to join us in Maui as well. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell. We're gonna have so many videos, like a ton of videos. We're there for almost two weeks and I like to do little videos of like just the resort and a Costco haul and like our top 10 favorite things. That obviously can't be filmed until the very end of our trip when we decide what our top 10 things are. So there's just a ton of videos that we do when we travel, so you're gonna wanna come back and watch more. And they're coming up, they're so close. We just have a few more days, so stick around, come back for more, and we will see you in Maui. Live, because you can join us live as well. Yes, we're going live in Maui. So stick around, we'll see you guys next time. Aloha.